$29,000 per hour. That's what it costs to fly the F-15EX Eagle II. Sounds expensive? The F-35 costs up to $42,000. The F-22 Raptor? $85,000. But here's the kicker. The F-15EX can fly for 20,000 hours. The F-35? Only 8,000. That means you'd need three F-35s to match one F-15EX. And it gets better. The F-15EX carries more weapons than any fighter in the U.S. arsenal. It doesn't need special hangars, and it's ready right now. No delays, no waiting. So why is the Air Force betting billions on a jet that's technically decades old? Stick around, because what you're about to hear will change how you think about defense spending, and why newer isn't always better. The United States Air Force has a problem. Aging F-15C and D models are falling apart. Some are over 40 years old. Wings cracking, wiring failing, structural risks everywhere. Replacing them with F-35 seems obvious, but there's a catch. The F-35 is expensive to buy, even more expensive to fly, and production can't keep up. Enter the F-15EX Eagle II, a modernized version of a proven legend. It's not stealthy, it's not flashy, but it's reliable, affordable, and lethal. And right now, it might be the smartest investment the Air Force is making. Today, we're breaking down why the F-15EX is the most cost-effective fighter in the U.S. fleet, backed by official budget data, flight hour costs, and real-world numbers. If you think smart spending matters just as much as cutting-edge tech, type yes in the comments below. Let's talk money, because that's where the F-15EX shines brightest. The cost per flight hour is $29,000. Compare that to the F-35A, which runs between $33,000 and $42,000, depending on the source. The F-22 Raptor, $85,000 per hour. That's nearly three times more than the F-15EX. But it's not just about hourly costs, it's about lifespan. The F-15EX is designed to last 20,000 flight hours. The F-35, only 8,000. Do the math. To get the same total flying time, you'd need to buy and maintain three F-35s for every one F-15EX. That's triple the procurement cost, triple the logistics, triple the headaches. And here's something most people miss. 70% of a fighter's total cost comes from sustainment, not the initial purchase. That means even if two jets cost the same up front, the one that's cheaper to maintain wins in the long run. The F-15EX is that winner. The flyaway cost, the price tag for one jet, is around $94 million. That's competitive with the F-35A, which now costs about 80 to 90 million. But remember, you're getting a jet that will fly more than twice as long. When the Government Accountability Office reviewed the program, they found the unit cost actually dropped by 5% as production ramped up. Economies of scale are working in the Air Force's favor. Now, let's talk about infrastructure. The F-35 needs special hangars, climate-controlled facilities, advanced diagnostic systems. The F-15EX, it uses the same bases, the same hangars, the same supply chains as the older F-15s. That's a massive cost saver. No need to rebuild everything from scratch. The Air Force estimates this will save billions over the program's lifetime. And here's the respect these jets deserve. Every dollar saved on maintenance is a dollar that can go toward training our pilots, supporting our troops, and keeping America's defense strong. That's smart. That's responsible. And that's why the men and women in uniform trust this platform. Now, cost per hour is one thing, but what really sets the F-15EX apart is how it's built for the future. The jet features something called Open Mission Systems Architecture, or OMS. What does that mean? Simple. You can plug in new software, new sensors, new weapons, without tearing the whole jet apart. It's like upgrading your phone instead of buying a new one every year. The F-35, by comparison, uses closed systems that are harder and more expensive to update. Boeing used digital engineering to design the F-15EX. 
Hundreds of virtual test flights happened before a single piece of metal was cut. That means fewer errors, faster production, and cheaper fixes down the road. This approach cut build time by 50% compared to older methods. Here's another advantage. 70% of the F-15EX is common with older F-15 models. That means pilots and maintainers don't need months of retraining. They already know the jet. They can transition in weeks, not years. That's readiness. That's efficiency. And let's not forget the maintenance crews themselves. These are highly skilled professionals who keep our jets in the air. With the F-15EX, they're working with familiar systems. They know where the parts are, they know what tools to use. That speeds up repairs and reduces downtime. When a jet spends more time in the air and less time in the hangar, the Air Force gets more value per dollar. Before we go further, if you're finding this valuable, hit that like button and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us bring you more content like this. The F-15EX also benefits from something called full-size determinant assembly. That's a fancy term for precision manufacturing. Parts fit together perfectly the first time. No rework, no delays. Boeing says this speeds up production and makes maintenance simpler in the field. And then there's the lifespan. 20,000 flight hours is not a guess. It's based on 50 years of F-15 performance data across multiple Air Forces. This jet has been tested in every condition imaginable. It's proven, it's trusted, and it will outlast almost any other fighter in service today. Cost-effectiveness isn't just about price, it's about capability. And the F-15EX brings serious firepower. This jet can carry up to 29,500 pounds of weapons. That's more than any other fighter in the U.S. arsenal. It can haul 12 AIM-120 air-to-air missiles at once. Compare that to the F-35, which can only carry six internally without compromising stealth. The F-15EX doesn't care about stealth. It's built to dominate after air superiority is achieved. And here's the real strategic value. The F-15EX can carry weapons too large for fifth-generation fighters. Think hypersonic missiles, long-range strike weapons, the kind of firepower you need to deter adversaries before a fight even starts. The Air Force plans to arm the F-15EX with the new hypersonic attack cruise missile. That's a game-changer. The jet is powered by two General Electric F-110 engines. Each produces 29,000 pounds of thrust. That gives it a top speed above Mach 2.5, one of the fastest jets in the fleet. And twin engines mean redundancy. If one fails, the pilot still has power to make it home. That's safety. That's reliability. Let's talk mission versatility. The F-15EX isn't just an air superiority fighter. It can escort bombers, protect tankers, patrol the homeland, strike ground targets. It's a multi-role platform that adapts to whatever the mission demands. And because it's not dependent on stealth, it can fly more often, in more conditions, without the intensive maintenance coatings required. Our Air Force personnel, pilots, maintainers, mission planners, these are the best in the world, and they deserve equipment that works. The F-15EX delivers. It's ready now, it's proven in combat, and it will serve for decades to come. That's a testament to American engineering and the dedication of the men and women who defend us. Now here's something that doesn't get enough attention. The F-15EX's electronic warfare capabilities. This jet is equipped with the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EPOS for short. It's one of the most advanced electronic warfare suites ever installed on a fighter. What does it do? It detects threats, jams enemy radar, deploys countermeasures, all automatically. The pilot doesn't have to think about it. The jet protects itself. Compare that to older F-15 models which had outdated systems, or even some F-16 variants that lack modern electronic protection. The F-15EX walks into contested airspace with confidence. It sees threats before they see it, and it can neutralize them without firing a shot. The AN-APG-82A ESA radar is another powerhouse. It tracks multiple targets simultaneously, it has longer range than previous radars, and it can switch between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes instantly. 
That versatility is critical in modern combat where threats come from every direction. And here's the thing, this technology isn't experimental, it's operational, it's been tested, it works. The men and women flying these jets can trust their equipment because it's been proven in real-world conditions. The cockpit itself has been completely redesigned. Large touchscreen displays replace old dials and switches. Everything the pilot needs is right in front of them. Less clutter, less confusion, more focus on the mission. And that means better performance when it matters most. But the real genius is in how upgradable this system is. Remember that open mission systems architecture? It applies here too. New software can be installed in hours, not months. New sensors can be added without major modifications. The F-15EX is designed to stay cutting edge for the next 30 years. Think about that. A jet designed in the 70s, upgraded with technology from the 2020s, ready to serve until the 2050s. That's not just cost effective, that's visionary planning. So why does all this matter? The Air Force is facing a capacity crisis. Hundreds of older F-15Cs and Ds are beyond their service life. They're unsafe to fly. Structural cracks, wiring issues. Some jets are being held together with inspections and prayers. The F-35 production line can't replace them fast enough. And the next generation air dominance program, the 6th gen fighter, is years away. The F-15EX fills that gap, right now. It's not a stopgap, it's a strategic bridge. It keeps squadrons operational while new technology matures, and it does so without breaking the bank. The Government Accountability Office confirmed that the F-15EX program has actually decreased in cost. Total program expenses dropped by 8%. Unit costs fell by 2%. That's rare in defense procurement. Usually costs go up, but here they're going down. And let's be clear, this isn't about choosing between the F-15EX and the F-35. It's about having the right mix. Stealth fighters like the F-35 are critical for penetrating enemy defenses. But you don't need stealth for every mission. Homeland defense, air patrols, escort duties. For those roles, the F-15EX is perfect. It's cheaper, it's more available, and it gets the job done. Boeing is now producing two F-15EXs per month. Deliveries are accelerating. The first jets are already serving with the Oregon Air National Guard. They're flying real missions, protecting real airspace, and the feedback is overwhelmingly positive. This jet represents something important. It shows that smart defense spending doesn't always mean buying the newest, shiniest thing. Sometimes it means taking a proven platform and making it better. That's what the F-15EX is, and that's why it's the most cost-effective fighter in the fleet. The Air Force originally planned to buy just 80 jets, but Congress saw the value. They increased funding. Now the plan is closer to 130 aircraft. That's confidence, that's bipartisan support, and that's recognition that this program works. The F-15EX costs less to fly, lasts longer, carries more weapons, uses existing infrastructure, and comes loaded with cutting-edge technology that's ready today. It's smart procurement, it's fiscal responsibility, and it keeps America's Air Force ready for whatever comes next. If you found this breakdown valuable, hit that like button and subscribe for more defense analysis. Thanks for watching and stay